It's winter time, at least where I live, and that means Christmassy snow stuff. So let's make a 3D snowflake with Blender 2.5. This is going to be real simple and basically doing stuff that I've already shown in previous tutorials, but it doesn't hurt to look at it from another angle, I guess. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a 2D snowflake image. So we're going to say snowflake here in our Google search, and we're going to go up to images. We're going to find a snowflake that we like, preferably something that is pretty solid colored, like this one right here would be good. So let's click on that. Uh, there we go. We'll click on the full size image. Looks pretty good there. Let's start up GIMP here. There we go. And we should be able to just take this image and drop it like so there we go if not you could download it and then import it into GIMP or open it up in GIMP uh, now this one surprisingly is uh, has a transparent layer for the white it's not a big deal in this case we're gonna select our color wand here and select the interior here we would do the same thing if it was white and that's why we wanted to pick something that was a solid white or a solid color in the middle and we'll probably do a, a second example here in a minute after we finish this one up because this should be pretty short so here we go I'm going to click here I'm going to save to path so I saved the selection to path so that's selection to path shows up in our path here which is our second tab usually it has a little image of the path there we're going to right click and we're going to say export path and I'm going to save it in my temp folder so temp forward slash um, we'll just call it flake dot s v g now we'll go to blender once again I'm running blender 2.5 beta here uh, you can get that from the blender website it still is in beta it's not stable uh, but you can do the same thing uh, in blender uh, 2.4 I'm gonna hit delete to delete our default cube here and let's see if I go up to file we have import and oh I don't have an option for SVG like we do in Blender 2.4 let me hit spacebar here and just type in SVG see what comes up nothing what if I do GIMP oh well this tutorial is going to crap because I thought I could do this the same way I did in Blender 2.4 let's have a quick look here again mm, nothing there that helps I guess that feature is not enabled in Blender 2.5 yet. Not a problem. We'll close that and we'll just start up Blender 2.49, which is in our repositories in both Linux Mint and Ubuntu and most distributions right now. I deleted the default cube. We'll go to File, Import, and down to Paths. Maybe I should have searched Paths in 2.5. We'll go GIMP 2.0 we will go to where we have our snowflake file saved which is in my temp folder and I'm gonna go up to flake SVG import OK there it is it's off center all we have to do is come down here and click center and it will center it we can scale it up let's hit zero on our number pad to go to our camera view and uh, with our edit window here which is F9 we're gonna click extrude now you can see it's kind of very extruded there uh, what we can do is it's at uh, extruded to 0 0.1 here. Let's do 0 0.01. See how that looks. Oh, that's much better. And we can also bevel it a bit. Let's hit F12. See how that looks. Look at that. Now that was pretty simple, right? Creating a 3D uh, snowflake. And obviously you can do things like hit R with the snowflake selected pick X for X axis and type in 90 to rotate it 90 degrees At that point you want to go into top view and move your light source I hit F7 on the, or not F7 I hit 7 on the number pad to get into top view I'm gonna hit 0 on the number pad go back to camera view and uh, we'll hit well let's go to our render options here I'm just gonna do preview to speed or sorry preview to speed things up we'll click one render or hit F12 
There it is. That's a low quality copy. Let's uh, choose it. Go to materials here, our shader, and uh, we'll choose to give it a white material. We'll hit F12, render that out. And there we go. Once again, a low quality copy. Let's uh, set it to NTSC. You can also do HD or whatever you'd like as far as the preset. I'm going to go to uh, material or shader window here, which is uh, F5, shading. I'm going to go to world, and I'm going to set the background to black, just because I prefer it over the blue. And I'm going to turn on ambient occlusion, so we have ambient lighting. And that's going to slow our rendering down somewhat. And there we go, we have a 3D um, snowflake. Let's close Blender and go and choose another snowflake. And we will scroll down and find another one we like. This is a fun looking one here. Let's scroll a little bit further and see what our other options are. Oh, there's another fun one. <laughs> Look, one with a smiley face. Let's do this one here. No, let's do this one down here. That one looks nice. We'll go to full size. We'll drag and drop that into GIMP. Oh, it gave us an error. Sometimes happening when you're drag and dropping. Oh, my cell phone's ringing. I apologize. Mute. Okay. There we go. I was able to drag and drop once I got to the actual photo. I was looking at a smaller version a second ago. So here we go. I have my uh, selection tool selected, color selection wand. I'm going to select the white area. Select to path. Boom, it's right there. We're going to do export path. Once again, I'm just going to put it in my temp folder and I'll call it flake2.svg. I'll open up Blender again. And I'm assuming that when Blender 2.5 is complete, this feature will be added, or it's there and I'm just not seeing it. But we're going to go down to File, Import, Paths. We're going to choose GIMP 2. We're going to go to where we have our SVG file saved. And we got Flake 1 SVG. OK. There we go. We're going to hit center to center it. We're going to scale it up some. We'll do, once again, I'm going to do 0 0.1. I'm sorry, 0 0.01 for the extrude, extruding and bevel it a little bit. There it is. We're going to maybe scale it up a little bit more. R to rotate, X for X axes, and I'll type in 90 and hit enter. Once again, we'll give it a material of white. And I'm going to go to our world. I'm going to hit uh, black background. Actually, let's do a white background for this one. Ambient lighting. And I'm going to do NTSC here. And I'm going to hit render. Once again, the ambient lighting slows down the rendering a bit here. But once that's done, we'll have a nice looking 3D snowflake. Once again, sorry that I wanted to do this in 2.5 and couldn't. Like I said, I'm still in beta and I'm sure we'll be able to in the future. Luckily, you'll be able to create stuff in 2.4 and you should be able to import the Blender model into 2.5 uh, if you did want to do this but you want it to work in 2.5. I also apologize for my cell phone ringing. It happens and I don't feel like starting all over again. Oh, this one, I like this one better than the first one. It's looking nice. Once again, it's taking a long time to render because we have the ambient lighting on. If we turn that off, it will probably render in just a few seconds. Uh, so remember, ambient lighting makes things look a lot better, I personally think. But uh, especially if you're going to be doing a video, you figure this seems to be taking close to a minute to render. And if you're trying to do 30 frames a second, woo, this would take a long time. And uh, that's the the issue with uh, video editing, especially when it comes to 3D uh, video effects, is uh, you got to render stuff out and it takes a while. Always nice to have a second machine to do rendering on, or a really fast machine. And just uh, if you're going to do a video on something like this, let it run while you're uh, sleeping or before you go to work, start it up. 
So definitely I, I like that one better than the first one. So just find a 3D snow or a 2D snowflake you like. Create a path in GIMP and uh, extrude it and bevel it in Blender. And I wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And uh, thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.